Do you have an increased startle response? And if you do, have you ever been frustrated by it or found it to be completely annoying? I know I have. I have a very strong startle response. But what if a startle response is actually your body giving you subtle data that there's some opportunities for healing that might be worth exploring? People who have an enhanced startle response, I mean like a big time jumpy jumpy type of response, and if you have one, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Those individuals might have experienced or witnessed difficult things in their childhood that have taught their mind-body system that they need to be reactive to the world around them, to be on guard, more vigilant. It's not just related to post-traumatic stress disorder or complex PTSD. It's something that is neurobiologically hardwired into our system. It's something called a biomarker for something that might have happened a long time ago that taught the mind and body to show up in the world in a specific way. The hidden opportunity in this data is that when we experience hard things, when our mind is exposed to ongoing stressors, it shifts and changes. And those shifts and changes can have long-term subtle effects that we're not even aware of. To highlight this, let's take a moment and talk about infants. So when we're an infant, all of us have what's called a Moro response or a startle reflex. The reflex shows up when something unexpected happens and a great way to describe it is when the child is going eh and doesn't feel support or supported by the world around them because they've been scared or startled. And as an adult, we experience a different version of that. But what I want you to hear in that idea about infants is when the infant doesn't feel supported by the world around them. If we as adults are not feeling supported by the world around us, our mind and body will be more naturally vigilant. And this could show up, sure, as PTSD or complex PTSD or borderline personality disorder, those common labels that are given to the trauma experience and they can also show up as anxiety or depression or brain fog or squirrel brain adhd as so many different possible manifestations of our mind and our body living in a more vigilant state the opportunity then becomes turning inward and exploring what happens in those startle moments what might have happened back there that wasn't necessarily resulting in a PTSD type of experience but where our mind or body didn't feel supported and and identifying those experiences going in and doing that self-healing work creating your own way forward by aligning with your neurobiology and sculpting the life that you want to have, the brain that you want to have through these powerful self-havening tools of neuroplasticity. And of course, we have an entire playlist of these tools. So go check that out and begin your healing journey because you have the power to heal and your body is always sharing with you the opportunities within it, also known as the opportunities for a little extra healing love to create your own life.